the Blood Mall Ogres out in Blades Edge Mountains are the next kill that's up in the 500 kill series. People have been really asking me to try out different Netherweave cloth farms. And I personally love Ogres. All right. The truth is, I think Ogres should have been a playable race years and years and years ago. And I actually can't believe that, honestly, even in retail to this day, they're not playable races. So I love Ogres. They'll always have a special place in my heart. And for that reason, we have to kill 500 of them today. And as you can see, as I was flying here, I noticed a rare was up, this Speaker Margrom. So I thought, uh, why not start with him, right? So we're going to let him pat like over here and then begin 500 kills on the Blood Mall Ogres. Come on. That's cool. It looks like he's talking to him a little bit. Whatever, we'll do it at the same time. Wouldn't be too bad. Or maybe I don't even have to. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, I have no idea what we can get off this guy. I'm actually very curious myself. I had to respec to Fury yesterday for some Karazhan shenanigans. Uh, that's why I'm Fury right now. And actually, I think Fury is going to be nice for these type of farms because we do get Flurry. So, I'm actually really looking forward to this. I don't think we're going to be here for too, too long. And also, I love killing humanoids, because I think they have the most interesting loot tables when it comes to, like, greens and stuff, so. Without further ado, for our first Blood Mall Ogre, we get... Whoa! Oh, spirit. Feels bad. <laughs> but we do get Netherweave Cloth, which is really nice. So, I'm just gonna do, like, all of them. I'm gonna do the, you know, the Taskmasters, the Sioux Slayers. I'm not gonna count the minions, though, of course, but they are gonna end up getting cleaved down. But I can just remove them, you know, manually, no big deal. Blood Maul Rage. Increases damage dealt by 100 and movement speed increase? Alright, that's... I mean, it's not a big deal, right? But definitely something to be wary of, I guess. I got a couple of upgrades. I mean, we did get Thunder. I have been working on my, uh, my Prebis a little bit. So, I'm definitely not too worried about this farm. I just hope we get a lot of Nether Weave. That's that's really the main thing I'm looking for. Nether Weave and a couple of greens would be cool. I mean, but we already got a blue to kick it off, right? So, I'm uh, I'm already I'm already looking forward to this for sure. I was originally planning on doing the uh, fire elementals up here for you know modes of fire, but a it was really really camped, and b I don't think they're like that interesting to look at. So we'll get to those guys eventually, but I kind of want to do mobs that I find cool. And like I was saying earlier, I. I think ogres are some of the coolest monsters in the game. If you know me, I'm a sucker for big monsters, right? There's nothing better than big monsters. Big monster! Oh, this guy. Look, he's got his own little tower. He's got to have something good on him. Nope. Maybe this guy? Oh, I thought I had charge. Okay. I thought I had... <laughs> Alright, let's not talk about that. <clears throat> I don't think I want to kill any of these wards. I think I'm just going to try to stick to the uh, the ogres. But yo, 14 pieces of cloth in 14 kills. I'm I'm thrilled with that so far. Hopefully we can keep that trend up. Now that we have cloth, you love to see it. Hopefully we can get some lockboxes, man. I, I've been having a lot of fun opening lockboxes in TBC. I feel like there's really, really good stuff in there. So hopefully we get some lockboxes. We keep the nether weave cloth going. And I'm just going to fly up and down the, uh, the Dagger Maw Canyon. Whoa, there's a lot of spawns here. Yeah, this this farm seems like it would be incredible for miners and herbs, herbalists. Uh, off, just off the bat, I feel like I've seen like five of these and I've only been here for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Kind of nice. But look, even more fell wheat. Dude, this and and adamantia. Dude, this, look, I see two herb mine, two herb nodes and two mining nodes in this one spot. I mean, make that three herb nodes. Dude, this is crazy. This is the herbalist and miner farm spot. I can, I, I, I'm declaring it right now. Bad dog. I didn't mean to pull you. Damn. Sometimes I really, uh, I really wish I didn't try hard so much in arenas because having herbalist, herbalism, and mining would would be pretty fun for spots like this for sure. What's this? I think this environment is just really, really underrated, man. I think just chunks of of deer meat hanging off hooks. Well, I hope that's deer meat. That's obviously deer meat. I hope that's deer meat. If you go really north, you can see here at Soul Grinder's Barrow, there's actually Elite Ogres, which we'll definitely get to one day, but I'm probably going to need a pocket healer for that. So for now, we're just going to stick to the Dagger Maw Ogres. All right, 99 kills in. 
you're not counting the imps, right? If you're counting the imps, 134 kills. There's a lot of imps here. Pretty much every warlock has an imp pet, right? But anyway, 99 kills in, and I can say that this is going to be super, super chill. We've already gotten a bunch of greens, a couple healing pots, mana potions. I mean, it's like kind of nice. It's very like cozy. It's probably not going to be as crazy gold per hour as some of the other farms, obviously, but... That's all right, though. You know, consistent greens, consistent potions, and maybe a blue every now and then. Like, that more than makes up for it. So let's go ahead and knock out this 100th ogre. What is this tiger? What tiger in the game has a pelt that big, dude? Is it like the uh, the panther boss from Zolgrub they skinned or something? What? Either way, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Definitely the only thing about this that I can say is kind of like a negative, sort of, kind of is the, uh, the Drunken Haze ability. You know, just messes up your vision or anything, but it's not even like a big debuff. debuff. But either way, for our 100th Blood Maul Ogre, we get three silver. All right, a lot of silver. So far, a crazy, crazy amount of cloth. Absolutely insane amount of cloth. So very, very happy with that. But without further ado, let's uh, finish off these 400 kills. And we'll talk to you guys at 500 total kills. boys that is 499 kills 251 maulers 135 warlocks 51 bruise brewmasters 31 soothsayers 30 taskmasters and one speaker margrom the uh the rare that we killed at the start i was planning on killing the boss in here for the 500th kill but somebody just killed him for a quest so rip that we're just gonna do uh just pretend this guy at the top is uh is a boss all right so final thoughts on this spot would be yeah if you're looking for a nether weave grind this is the place to be bro this is so much better than the ogres in the grand it's not even funny um i mailed a bunch of greens and stuff over so this isn't all the loot but just in terms of nether weave i mean dude look at this is that not gorgeous or what so we also got 51 of these blood maw brute bane brews but they're soul bound so you won't see them in the loot part of the video but We'll get to that when we get to that for now. Let's go ahead and begin our 500th kill on the Blood Maul Ogres. I, I kind of want to wait for this Warlock to pat so we don't make it 501. 
Maybe we'll, alright, we'll dive on this guy. Alright, so without further ado, 500 Blood Maw Ogres. Pop Death Wish, you guys know the drill. Sword skill leveled up all the way to 350, so that went really well. But, for our 500th Blood Maul Ogre, we get 15 silver and more nether weave. I'm really excited to see how much raw silver we make from this. I think it's going to be crazy. But, yeah, this was unbelievably chill. It says four hours there, but I took like an hour off in between. So, this was really like a three-hour-ish farm. And, you know, I was, like, going super casually. So if you're here and you're playing a class that's not a warrior, you can probably pump out even more nether weave per hour. So either way, I'm going to move all the loot, and I'll catch you in Stormwind. All right, guys. Here we are in Stormwind with quite possibly can I do for my new favorite nether weave cloth farm. I mean, look at that, dude. We have 403 pieces of nether weave right here. Absolutely insane. That's almost a nether weave per kill, right? Well, 97 less than that, but... I mean, that's just splitting hairs, though, right? I mean, 403 pieces of netherweave. That is so much more than I thought. This is personally going to be my new netherweave farm. I don't think I'm ever going to have to buy bandages again. <laughs> like, I know netherweave on some servers is just absolutely insane. I think that's why people were bugging me to farm it. So, yeah, this is my new netherweave spot for sure. Um, <laughs> on top of that, we did get a Corium lockbox, which I love. A couple greens. None of the greens are that notable, to be honest. I mean, intellect stand cloth piece. Uh... This wrist is actually pretty good. Spell crit, spell damage. In a ton of healing on this leather helmet. 47 strength, male chest plate, meh. And then our one blue, the nether steel handguards of the boar. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought we were going to get another blue or two, but I guess I was just feeling lucky. This was off the rare mob that we killed at the start of the episode. So, well, there is that. Then we got a scroll of protection, two scrolls of agility, three mana pots, and eight healing pots. Every farm I've done so far with humanoids... I've noticed you get way less mana potions than healing potions. That's probably why they're worth so much more on the auction house. But it is the way it is. And then when we get to the venderables, 52 gold, 95 silver. That's a little lower than I thought, I'll be honest with you. Because I thought they're super high level humanoids. But 50 raw gold, you can't complain about that. We vendor all of these. Oh, these boots shouldn't be in there. We vendor all these venderables. We get up to 74 gold and 45 silver. Go Definitely ahead. a solid amount of venderable gold there. For 500 mobs, 75 raw gold, I'll take it. All right, so when it comes to things like Netherweave, if you are doing this farm, I would recommend waiting until, like, Monday night or at least whatever you find on your server is peak times to sell things like Regents. So right now, my Netherweave is going for 2 gold and 34 silver. That's very, very, very low. Uh, for what I'm used to paying for another weave at least so if I were you I actually would wait and sell it for higher But for the video purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up for like 289 a stack This is actually some of the lowest I've seen nether weave cloth for I feel like it'll go back up But hey, maybe people just already have a ton of it, right? So it is what it is. All right, let's check on these heal potions Which are at about two gold a pop That's about what I paid for them uh, For the whole expansion so far mana potions are pretty expensive though, right? Yeah, we can do three gold each for these bad boys. Superior mana potions are actually kind of rare. From the mobs I've been killing, at least. Scrolls of Agility, four gold each. Scroll of Protection, 82 silver. And then for most of these greens, you guys know me, lately I've been doing nine gold for crappy greens and like 15 for decent greens. That seems to be working out for me. Uh, if you're not comfortable with, you know, coming up with your own prices, feel free to use an add-on like TSM, which will kind of like scan the auction house for you and give you an estimate of what you should be putting them on for. I'm going to do 20 gold for these bracers because these are actually nasty. 107 healing. That'll make some boosty druid very happy for a uh, healing blood furnace for sure. Blood knight breastplate. 47 strength. If this was agility, this would be insane. It's too bad it's strength, but maybe an enhanced shaman will still get some use out of it. Marsh creeper gloves of the boar. And then our talon guard greaves of defense. Nine gold for those. Those straight up just have defense. But a lot of defense. That's actually nuts. And then our nether steel handguards of the boar. I'm going to put these up at 25 gold. Because 29 strength is actually pretty good. And 29 spirit. I mean, 29 spirit's kind of useless. But I I mean, 29 strength flat is not bad. So, you know what? I'm going to do 29 gold for 29 strength, right? Now, hopefully, I can find a rogue to open this lockbox. 
We found a cool rogue, and for our Corium lockbox of the video, we get an Honor Hold Saber of Agility. I'm really looking forward to getting a blue out of these lockboxes. They're super hype. But honestly, the sword's not half bad. Um, guys, solid farm. I know I already did ogres in the series. This is our two ogres so far of Burning Crusade, and in the next video, I'm going to try to do something with higher gold per hour, but I really wanted to test out a nether weave farm because people have been bugging me too, so... That was an insane nether we farm. That's definitely where I'm going to go, like, in between raids or in, in queues or whatever, just to farm out my bandages for the week or something. I feel like you get a week, you could get a week's worth of bandages in, like, 15 minutes there, which is pretty sweet. Other than that, the spot's pretty meh, so I would give it, like, a 6 out of 10. Very easy mobs, very easy to kill, good respawn rates, lots of nether weave, but their loot table isn't actually insane. So, I'm going to try to do a mob with a better loot table for the next video, but for this one, I think that's going to be it, guys, so... I'm going to go ahead and leave my Twitch up on screen now. Don't forget to uh, head over there and drop a follow. If you got a second, we're doing all these farms live. And it's fun over there. You know, we, we, we meme around. We have a good time. But I'm not going to talk your ear off about it. So if you got a sec, Twitch link in the description. And also, real quick, I want to say thank you guys so much for all the support. The likes, the comments. Dude, something happened. The YouTube algorithm is treating me very well. And I'm very grateful for all you guys watching and uh, helping me with that. So I appreciate it very much. But that's going to do it for me, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your farms. If you have any ideas or recommendations for the series, mobs to kill, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, that's all, guys. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Brock H. Good luck on your farms, and I will see you guys in the next one.